welcome back to my channel so today i fancy doing a one brand slash first impressions makeup tutorial using elf cosmetics i've used some of these products before but a lot of them were very new to me i was surprised by a lot and disappointed by one i thought i would love so if you want to know how to get this look and just keep on watching okay so there's nothing at all on my face and my box of goodies here let's just begin okay to start i'm gonna prime the face i got the elf prep and hydrate balm and i got the polis putty primer so i think i'm gonna use the two of them just to give them a test out okay so i'm gonna go in with the prep and hydrate balm all over the face Oh, that feels nice though. It feels extremely hydrated. Okay. And then let's go in with the Patty Primer. I've heard a lot about this. It's always raved about on Instagram and see it everywhere. So it just looks like this. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to put this in more of my porous areas this feels really nice also no scent well, a, a, a slight scent but nothing too overpowered I'm going to apply a little bit more of the patty primer just to really fill in my pores I don't feel like I've tried enough. Okay, so mm, hasn't filled my pores as well as I hoped. So we'll move on and we'll see how things go. Okay, so I picked up the Elf Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. You know what? This feels. I've only done the tiniest amount and you can see the difference. This feels really, really nice. Also, I can all my brows and get them done this week. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Okay, it's just the brows. You know what? Game changer. First impressions. I love it. For the win. I love this. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the colour Fair Beige. This I've used before. Um, I did repurchase another one. I'm going to use it to cream contour, but I, um, I misjudged the colour. So I think we'll probably skip this. I go in with this on the lid. What I love about this is the applicator is absolutely huge. Um, it's so full coverage. It's so matte. And it, it's honestly such, such a good concealer. And I think it's like, maybe like five pound. So good. So then just carving off the brow with this and then tapping it into the lid and then just taking like a little this is the Morphe R32 and then just buffing up the edges so this is an elf palette this is the naked prism eyeshadow and I've owned this for years um, Kathleen Lights made me buy it so I bought it but I also picked up the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette they look the same it looks like this it's very pinky warm nice so I'm going to use a mixture of these two to do something simple Wow, I wasn't expecting that. 
let me zoom you in. Now they're up, uh, up close and personal. I'm just mixing this shade with this shade. They're very smooth, they blend out like a dream. They're not powdery. I'm gonna hop into this shade. And just focusing that in the out of the area. Repeat on the other side. just realized I don't have any mascara from e.l.f. I completely forgot so I'm just gonna pop them on off camera and I will be right back okay okay so let's continue with the face the flawless finish in light ivory it has SPF 15 it's oil free I love it I'm just gonna show you it's pretty thick that's not going anywhere so just keep that in mind um, but I mean it's, an, it's a nice foundation I'm just going to blend that in with my Real Techniques brush it's sitting well, it's sitting nice on the primer so as I've explained before I just use this to sweep it around the face and put the foundation where I want it and then where it's where I want it I will press It leaves a really nice natural finish on the skin. Okay, so I've decided to give this tan walnut a try. I definitely like my contour to be a lot darker, but um, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to try it. I think a little brush and just pat it in. Okay, okay, I don't mind it. Okay, it's not that bad. So I'm going to go in with a fair beige under my eyes. Doing this little Morphe E20 to blend it out. I feel like I look crazy. Okay, so I did get this little elf. I opened it. This little elf under eye powder. I'll leave the name down below because I don't really know. Yeah, just uh, under eye brightening powder. So I'm going to take the little Morphe E45 with this. It's honestly so small. It, it looks bigger. And then just that. Okay, and to set the face, I got the e.l.f. Prime and Stay uh, finishing powder in the colour Fair. Um, I have about three of these already. I love them. Big wet and wild brush. Just gonna set the rest. Where's the face? Just taking a little brush, going in with the dark brown shades we use for the outer V, and then going under the eye. Then while we're here, we highlight the inner corner using this, and I'm gonna use the whitest shade. Just taking a big fluffy brush, just wiping all that product, the bacon away. I got this bronzer. Um, it looks like the satin powder in the colour Sunkiss, but it also pick up this natural glow face palette um, in the colour Fresh and Flawless. Like this and it has. Two blush shades, one highlight and one bronzer contour shade. Okay, so this is matte, so I'm going to use this to contour and the bronzer to bronze. Okay, so dipping into that one from the palette, just with my Kylie Jenner brush. I'm just slightly 
contouring with this. I'm not going to do any more contour. I'm going to jump into that bronzer that has the bit of the, the shimmer. Hopefully, it gives a bit of a glow. Go on, Alf. Alf is smashing it. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my Peaches and Cream PC03 brush. And. I think I'm going to go in with a more, this one's a bit more pink and this one's a bit more peach. I'm going to go in with a peachy one. This is really nice. I'm really, really impressed. Okay, for, so for highlight, I have the e.l.f. Big Blush in Moonlight Pearls that I adore. I think I'm going to try the one out in the, the palette. Just to see what it's like. I have no words right now. You know when I picked Elf to do this video, I wasn't expected to be this impressed. Show you the skin. My skin honestly looks absolutely flawless. The highlighter is amazing. The eyeshadow blends like a dream. The eyebrow product is amazing. The concealer is just amazing. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Okay, so I got the matte liquid lipsticks. I got Blushing Rose and Red Vixen. I think I'm going to swatch them both. Probably going to go for the nude, but I just want to see what they're like. Okay, so this is the whatever colour I said this one was. Red Vixen. Okay, so they're a heart-shaped um, applicator. Okay, let me just swatch the other one. And this one is called Blushing Rose. So yeah, again, the heart. Okay, so this is the two. Um, I don't know if it's because I've just exfoliated my lips, but this goes on so soft and smooth. I'm in. Okay, so I'm in. I'm in love. This is such like a me look. I feel like the eyes, the eyeshadow was a dream. The eyebrow pencil, I think, is my favorite product from this whole look the highlighter the blusher the bronzer the whole that whole palette is amazing um, the foundation and concealer is a dream these lipsticks I will be picking up more there's just one more step so I picked up the hydrating coconut mist I thought I could use this as a second spray um, I suppose you could use it as a um, yeah, it says perfect to start or end your day. It has coconut, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid. Let's give this a bit of a shake. Wow. This smells so good. And it also, I've just found a little sticker. It says, don't mess with my skincare. Hmm. Smells really nice. Okay, so let's just take a last look. Okay, guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with how this turned out. Amazing. I love it. I love it. So, this is the final look. Big fan. Big fan. Thank you so much for watching. If you use any of these products already, let me know down below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about the products. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you very soon.